Hello friends, welcome back to Java at interview. In this video, we'll talk about variable scope in Lambda expression. We'll talk about local variable, static variable, and instance variable. We'll also talk about the final and effectively final variables in Lambda expression. All right, so that being said, let's begin the video. All right, so Lambda expression is capable of accessing variables declared outside the Lambda function body. All right. So within Lambda expression, you can invoke, you can access local variables. I hope you guys know what is a local variable. Local variable is a variable declared within the function itself, right? Lambda expression can also access the instance variables. So instance variables are those variables which are declared outside the function, but within the class. And then we have static variables, right? So I hope you guys know. Static variables are declared by using the keyword called static. So we'll talk about all three variable types here in this video, and then we'll see how can we write a Lambda expression to access these type of variables. All right. And by the end of this video, we'll talk about final and effectively final variables. All right. So what I will do, I'll go, let me open the IDE and then I'll give you an example because I think it's all right so let let me create a class and i'll call it as lambda expression or lambda variable scope simple i would like to have a man method simple right now what i will do i will create a functional interface so i hope you guys know right what is the lambda expression lambda expression is a anonymous function variable and what I want, I want to have a public void variable scope is very simple. So this is my functional interface. How can you say? Because there is only one abstract method, right? So this is my functional interface. And to how do we write a lambda expression? So I, I have already covered this in my last video. If you guys are new, you can just watch my earlier video and then you'll get to know how to write a lambda expression but for this now in this video we are going to talk about variable scope so what i will do okay so here is our class we have one functional interface and now i'm going to introduce some variables here right so let me just first go and create uh, instance variables for example uh, employee id is there so this is an instance variable how can you say because it is outside of the function body and within the class and I have one more called employee name, correct? So basically we have two instance variables, right? And then how do you declare a static variables? So a static variable is same way, but you need to use the keyword called static. Okay, so I'm writing here a company called ABC LTD. It doesn't matter, you can put whatever you want, correct? So basically this is my static variable. Cool, right? It's easy. Now what I will do, how do we create local variables? Local variables are the variables which are declared within the method, within the function itself. So main is my function and if I put whatever here will be local to main method, right? So what I will do, I'll create a variable called s equals to let me declare 25 and uh, I also want another variable, but this time I want a string value called role equals to, let me just call it as developer, simple. So this is, what do you call this? Local variable. Again, local variable. So here we are not going to talk about what is the difference between local variable, static variable, and instance variables. Right, but if you really want me to explain, just let me know in the comment section because these variables are different in the scope and the memory of all our variables. And here is one functional interface. Now what I have to do is, let me provide the implementation. So I hope you guys know that functional interface provides reference to a Lambda expression. So I'm going to write a Lambda expression. What I will write here, Lambda expression, as you can see, there is no arguments. So, and then arrow sign and then function body, correct? This is my Lambda expression. What do I have here? Let me just print something. So out. you can say up here, Lambda, Lambda expression, cool, right? nothing much now what i want to do is let me just call the function what is the function it says variable scope right variable scope easy 
correct if i run this one what will happen lambda expression right so this is my lambda expression this is my function interface i have already explained in the last video how do we write a lambda expression and what is the purpose of functional interface right now here we are talking about the scope of variables so let's first talk about the local variables so i want to access these two variables local as and role in these values so what i will do let me write this out here and i want to print the employee as so i will write here employee as equals to this guy because it's my local variable so yeah i have no issues here let me just write the role employee role and role let me run this one java application so you can see here right because these variables are local so these local these variables are also local to the lambda expression so lambda expression can directly access these variables correct right so this is cool easy now let's go and talk about a static variable i want to access the static now you know because this is static variable is static so i can directly access right so what i will do i will simply uh, write here so out then i will just print a scope here lambda expression a static variable we are talking about a static variable here so what i will do i'll just write one more sys out sys out and i just want to print the company name that is what i want to do here right so i will write here employee company equals to because it's a static variable i can directly access right let me run this one java application and this is working perfectly fine i can print the company name right so we can directly access the local variables we can also access the static variables correct now let's talk about the instance variables so instance variables i hope you go you guys know right instance variable belongs to the object correct object of the class so what i will do just for the example purpose i will just create an object of my class object equals to new correct now i can use sorry uh, new now i can use this object to access the instance variable how can I do that let me again print here we are talking about instance variable this time and i just want to print the employee let me make it big for you guys so i want to print the employee id and employee name right so because i cannot uh, so let me just say employee id equals to because this instance variable so i need to use the object similarly i also want to print the employee uh, what do we have name so i will just write here employee name equals to i can use the object right let me just run this one okay so here employee id is zero and employee name is null but the point is we are able to access why we have zero and null because uh, your instance variables will be initialized for you so compiler does it for you guys that's why you see employee id is zero because it's integer type value so it is initialized with zero e name is a string so this is initialized with null so your compiler is responsible for this particular initialization that we can access local variables we can access static variable and we can also access instant variables just like that right there is nothing new so the point is all the variables type which you have in your class are by default accessible to the lambda expression that is what you need to keep in mind correct i hope i'm clear here now so here we are done with the one part now we need to talk about the final and effectively final variable types what are those so what i will do just for simplicity now before that for example if i have to change my company name to some other company can i do that company equals to can i just make it to abc to x y z ltd is it possible can i change the property the variable uh, aesthetic variables inside the lambda expression let me run this one so what is the company name x y z limited correct so you can update you can change the value of a static variable within the lambda expression this is doable all right 
now let's go and modify the object so for now you see here we have not initialized there is no property in my object right so let me just do that can i do that let me just add something and assign some id here employee id equals to i want to have whatever triple one zero double one zero right and i want to initialize let me give a name to this particular employee and i want to call it rockle breath i hope you guys know her right right so let me just print run so what do you see here now so company xyz limited employee id 110 and employee name is rockle breath so basically you are able to access the instance variables as well and you are able to modify so you can change the value of a static variable you can also change the value of instance variable within the lambda expression all right now let's look at the uh, the very good part right like the point where you will have some questions now for example this employee is uh, 25 year old but this is incorrect i want to modify i want to change this particular as equals to as plus 1 26 year correct so what do you see here it says there's error right you can see a red icon what it says it says local variable as defined in an enclosing scope must be final or effectively final what does it mean it says that if you are trying to access a local variable within the lambda expression you are not supposed to modify that particular variable so what is this a solution it says that either you declare this particular variable as final or must or effectively final so let's see what is the final first it says one solution is to declare this variable as final now i know that if it is final i cannot modify a final variable because the error is still there right but now you know that you cannot update a final variable correct so this particular statement is wrong final means the value is constant you cannot modify correct now if i run this one my as is final the employee as is final let me run this one mm -hmm. 25 right so one solution is like local variable it uh, should be declared final or effectively final what is effectively final effectively final in the sense now let me just do it again so because now again you will see the same error local variable as defined in an enclosing scope must be final or effectively final what does it mean effectively final means that you don't declare it is okay if you don't declare this particular variable as final but you cannot modify so you need to consider this one as a final variable and you are not supposed to modify this is what it says effectively final effectively final means effectively final means you need to consider you consider that value as a final you cannot you're not supposed to say consider variable or value as final variable this is what effectively final says effectively final the system will consider that this word the compiler will consider this value as a final that is what effectively final is what does it mean it means that you cannot change the property you cannot change or you cannot update any local variables within the lambda expression this is what the rule says right for example role i want to update this lady developer to a senior developer let me see what happens local variable defined local variable role defined in an enclosing scope must be final or effectively final so the error message is the same it says that you should declare this variable either as final or let's consider this as effectively final it means either you go and declare this final now you know that it's final you cannot modify the value or even like it is okay if you don't want to declare it's final that is also okay but you you need to consider this as effectively final it means that you cannot modify you cannot change the value of this particular variable right so final or effectively final means that those values are constant so and this is applicable only to local variables so local variables can only be effectively final right only a local variable so what is the limit expression what is the restriction or the limitation is that you cannot modify or you cannot change the value of local variables within the lambda expression we have seen this one right we tried to update the as to as plus one but we got the compile time error right remember let me just show you again it's here right 
let me comment similarly if i try to do same with the with the role role request i want to update this to senior developer correct again same error you cannot modify right so basically you cannot modify you cannot change the value of local variable within the lambda expression you need to keep this particular thing in your mind all right you need to remember this one that you can never change the value of local variable within the lambda expression now the next question can be why if i can access right i should be able to modify the value as well why we cannot update the value why we need to consider these variables as constant only always why what is the reason when you are working with the multi threading environment when you are working on multiple threads so let me give you the reason why that why we need to consider or why we need to uh, declare these variables as final and, and effectively final because if you are uh, for example if you are working with lambda expression what i will do let me just change this value so this is from as to i will call it as company as company as 25 now for example i have to change the value i have to update company as equals to company as plus one and if i'm using uh, multiple threads right and if i'm doing this particular operation for example simply let me just do this one plus plus so if i if i'm using 10 threads so that will keep on increasing the value of this particular variable all the time so each single thread will go and update the value of company is so in the sense i'm i'm having a wrong value correct my very first thread will have the right value but the next threads are going to access this particular uh, function or lambda expression right they will have a wrong value always all the time so to avoid this particular scenario right to make it work in the multi thread right so the answer to the question is that why cannot we modify the local variables within the lambda expression so the answer is that just to avoid the issues in the multi-threading environment